to go back now to that controversial GSA video we told you about. Federal Worker American Idol, I-D-L-E. It shows federal workers singing about lavish government spending and joking that there will never be an investigation. Some Republicans question whether it's an apt metaphor for the Democrats' out-of-control spending. Here's part of the video. Cause I buy everything I feel rappers can't afford Every GS5 will get a top hat award hey. Donate my vacation, love to the nation I'll never be under OIG investigation I think she's my favorite part of it. <laughs> throwing, <laughs> throwing the hair out of the bun. Woohoo! Yippee! Vegas! <laughs> Hi panel, Leslie Marshall, syndicated Hi. radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson is also a syndicated radio host on Compass Media Networks. I mean, I said to Steyerwalt at the top of the show, it's either laugh or cry, right? I mean, let's, you know, I think whatever your partisan stripes are, you can all agree, this is ridiculous. Do I, are we right? Raise your hand if you think it's ridiculous. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm raising right. my hand. Come on, It's Lars. ridiculous. <laughs> Although I love her with the bun. Like, yeah, going to Vegas. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! The problem is <laughs> it happened <laughs> under President Obama's watch. It happened at a time where you have these record deficits, where people are already complaining about tax hikes, saying we can't trust the government to spend our money because they don't oversee it well enough. And this adds fuel to that fire, does it not, Lars? It absolutely does. And it, it really shows a disrespect to those of us who pay taxes from those who earn their salaries from the taxpayers. I mean, Megan, can you imagine what Mr. Murdoch would do if you did a video making fun of how lavishly you spend Fox's money? Oh, I have a feeling you might have a pink slip waiting for you. Unfortunately, we don't give the pink slip to people who do this. And it shows a kind of an elitism and an arrogance. We're reminded of those stories about a year ago where they compared the salaries of average federal workers to average Americans. The average federal worker makes about double what the average American earns and has much better benefits. And obviously, they don't care when they spend OPM, other people's money. This is a disrespect for the American taxpayer that should be rewarded with a few pink slips. Yeah, look at him bringing in the big screen TV. It opens with him playing the ukulele and the, the whiteboard behind him reads to do colon lunch. There he is walking around here. This guy's from Hawaii, so it looks like he took advantage of the beautiful sights and sounds around him, Leslie. All to be submitted at the GSA conference in front of 300 federal employees, and he was the big winner. He was the winner. They, they so loved the messaging in that video that he was the winner, became commissioner for a day, and they spent almost a million dollars of our taxpayer money on this nonsense. Well, I agree with Lars that there's no excuse for this, and and, not, and even if it wasn't, even if it was a great time economically, uh, but I think that we need to look to every single administration with the GSA, GSA, and I say that because, Lars, I love you, it's Good Friday, I'll be good, okay, but those in glass houses should not throw stones. I mean, we did have with GSA Jack Abramoff, we did have David uh, Safavian, who was uh, guilty of five felony charges in 2006. I do agree pink slips oh, should come, Leslie. but Lars, because they haven't come yet does not mean they're not forthcoming. Even the president, Leslie, Drew Leslie, Leslie, you tell me, this should, this guy, should this guy be fired? There's an investigation. He's still working yes. there, but, but yeah, in his he, defense, he was told to do this by his bosses, Lars. Well, here's the problem. When your bosses decide you have enough free time not serving the taxpayers' needs, that you can go off and make funny videos to be presented at an expensive conference, $3,000 per person, in an agency, Leslie, that has increased its budget more than 100% under President Obama. And all this agency does is provide for the building needs, the vehicle needs, and the travel needs of government employees, and they've more than doubled the budget under Obama at a time when the country is in the tank and the budget is in the red. Well, the thing is, it pe shows people want to make sure. Attitude. I think people want to make sure this isn't happening at other agencies and isn't going to happen again in the future. And the problem, you know, on the optics for the president, Leslie, is that, you know, they, one of the reporters asked Jay Carney, can you be sure that there are no other, no other instances of this happening in other federal agencies? He says, well, it's a big government. So I hesitate to make any blanket statements, but we acted quickly to determine who was responsible here. And then Harry Reid got all upset at the, at the House congressman who was trying to hold hearings on the matter uh, and called him personal names. So, you know, op <laughs> the optics of it, ideal, not so much. Oh, no, I, I totally agree. I, th th this is an area where, to me, the, it doesn't come down to politics. I don't care which president and which platform they're on is in the White House. Every single agency 
uh, should be, in, in, in light of transparency especially, for the American people, uh, scrutinized with money, not just in this administration. Past administration, certainly going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all the congressional members, I think we'd find things very interesting, uh, left or right. And uh, quite frankly, if this video had never come out, the American people wouldn't know about how mm -hmm. much spending, uh, the, and, and the American people wouldn't know about that attitude. So it's good in a sense that can, it came can you out. Imagine the, can, can you imagine the meeting at the White House when it was like, <laughs> They blew almost a million dollars of taxpayer monies hiring clowns and mind yep. readers and, and giving these folks a lavish vacation in Vegas. And there's video. And not just that. Turns out the video's been posted on the GSA's website for months. Lars, I'll give you the last word and I gotta run. Megan, I gotta tell you, I'm surprised at Leslie to say it doesn't matter. When you've got a president who took over a financial disaster of the country and a disaster in federal spending and then more than doubled or allowed his agency heads to more than double the budget, Leslie, that blame has to go right to the president. He's the guy in charge, he's the CEO, and his department heads are out there throwing our money away. You should put the responsibility where it lies with President Obama is, and his cabinet no, secretary. O'Reilly's already saying, you know, he's talking about the $16 muffins, and he's already saying, like, this is the kind of thing that makes him not want to hand more money over to the feds, mm -hmm. because he, as, mu as funny as that girl with the bun is, he doesn't want her to have any more, he doesn't want to have her <laughs> any more of his money. Panel, thank you both. And thank a prayer you. for those pilots Easter, and the people guys. on the Happy ground. Easter. Thank See you. See you soon. Absolutely.